Hi everyone, welcome to today's workout. Today we're going to be doing a cardio circuit. The goal is really pretty simple, just to get you sweating and to burn the extra fat, burn those calories. So today we have Anna, Ivy, and Kara, and we're going to start off with our warm-up. We're going to jog in place. 30 seconds, here we go. So let's start jogging in place. Just getting the heart rate up. And we're going to show you modified versions as well. Advanced versions, modified versions. Now we're going to take it into a high knee. So we're going to get those knees up there. Now Anna's showing you modified versions. Some people have joint issues, knee issues, ankle issues. So in that case, there's always a way to work around that. So you're just going high knees, getting as much range of motion out of it as you can. Keep that going. Heart rate should be starting to climb a little bit. And now we're going to go into our Frankenstein kick. So hands are up. You're going straight leg, right to left, left to right. Keep your quad flexed. That's going to help you keep that leg straight. Loosening up the hamstrings here. Go for about another 20 seconds here on this one. Looks good, ladies. And then from here, we're going to go into our standing splits. So, this is going to work on the balance. You're dropping down, keeping the leg almost straight, and then you're switching. Switching. And to modify it, go ahead and get started. Anna's going to show you the modification. She's just not going to drop down quite as far. And this one is great because it gets those little balance muscles, those little stabilizer muscles fired up. They're really important with some of the jumping and the kicking and things like that that we're going to be doing throughout the workout to be balanced. There we go, looks good. Come back here so you can all see better. Nice straight legs, tight core on the way down too. Important to focus on that stomach. Keep it contracted and tight. That's gonna help your balance. We've got another 20 seconds here. Looks good, nice and stable. And now we're going to switch into our alternating back lunges. So here's the side view. You're dropping down, touch the ground, and switch. Touch the ground and switch. To modify that, like always, you're just going to shorten that range of motion and not drop back quite as far like Anna's doing. Another important thing for this front foot, keep the weight on your heel, okay? That's going to take some of the strain off this knee. You don't want to be up here like this. It's going to be a little bit too much pressure on that knee. So keep the weight on the heel. Knee tracks over the toes. Firing up some of the hip muscles now. Up high into that hamstring. Another 15 seconds here. Looks good. Keep breathing. And now we are switching into our inchworm push-ups, okay? So, from the side, you're here, drop down straight, as straight as you can with these legs, and then you're going to inch forward until you get out into a high plank, drop down into a push-up, and then walk it back up, stand all the way up, and then go back down, okay? Let's go ahead and get started on those. Now push-ups might be hard for some of you, so if they are, there's a couple options. You can either drop down to your knee and do a push-up, or you can just skip the push-up altogether. There's a lot of people working on different levels here, so just do whatever works for you. Another 20 seconds here. So as you can see, we're really focusing on warming up that lower body, stretching things out. Getting things hot here. Another 10 seconds. Let's get one more in. One more rep. 
There we go, drop down and walk it up. And now we are warmed up and ready to go. Okay, we are ready for circuit number one. We have three exercises. We're gonna do each exercise three times. We're starting off with jumping jacks, pretty simple. Most of you know it. Up and down, three, two, one, and here we go. So there's a regular version, regular jumping jacks, which we've all done in gym class growing up. Anna's doing the modified version for the people with joint issues. So she's just stepping out, side to side with the leg. There we go, keep pushing. And this is still kind of, you know, you might be still warming up here, a continuation of the warm up, and that's fine. There we go, we've got 10 seconds, keep pushing, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now we have a 20 second rest. The next exercise is a single leg deadlift jump. So it's similar to the standing splits that we did in the warm up. You're dropping down, tap the ground, jump up, try to stay on one leg, drop down, jump up. Okay, and then we'll have a modified version for that as well. We're going in three, two, one, and go. There we go. Starting off on that left leg, 20 seconds on the left leg, 20 seconds on the right. You can see Anna's doing the modified version here, keeping the stress off the joints. And let's go ahead and switch legs, other leg. There we go, get as much height as you can on those jumps, girls. What's great about this, this is, this is cardio, but it's also balanced too. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. 20 second rest. Next we have standing mountain climbers. So, my left knee is up, my right hand is up, and then we're switching, and then we're switching high speed, okay? So, getting ready to go, catch your breath. Going in, three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Sometimes it takes a second to get the coordination on this, but you'll figure it out. Just think opposite leg, opposite arm. And as we look at the modification, again, the jumping is take, taken out of it, but Anna's still going as fast as she possibly can through this. There we go, girls. Keep climbing. We've got about 15 seconds left. There we go. Quick feet, quick feet. Good, good. Push it, push it. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, 20 second rest. We're getting into round two. Only 30 seconds this time. 30 seconds on, 15 second rest. Okay, so catch your breath, another 10 seconds. They're all breathing heavy. That's what we're after here. Going in five, four, three, two, one. One, and here we go, jumping jacks, 30 seconds jumping jacks. Push hard here. Now that we know what we're doing, we can push a little bit faster and really push that pace, leave it all out there. Good, we're halfway there. Looks good, looks good. There we go. Quick hands, quick feet. Five, four, three, two, one, rest for 15 seconds. There we go, catch your breath. Single leg deadlift jumps are next. 15 seconds each side. Three, two, one, and here we go. Let's start with the left leg. Good, do your best with it. If you can't quite get down to the floor, bend that front leg a little bit. Okay, keep your core tight. That's going to help you with your balance. Let's switch legs. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. There we go. Get some height on those jumps if you can. And then Anna's just trying to get a good pace here. And time. All right, 15 seconds. Standing mountain climbers, 30 seconds. 
You should be pushing yourself here as hard as you can now. Going in five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Good, good intensity. I like it. Now with these exercises, if you're doing this at home and you're at a more beginner level, take little breaks as needed. So if you get gassed, stop, catch your breath for two to three seconds, and then just jump right back into it. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We have round three. We're cutting it down to 20 seconds. So I'm going to give them the full 15 second rest here. 20 seconds. Crank up that intensity even more this time. We're going in three, two, one, and go. 20 second jumping jacks. These go quick. So just go as fast as you can. There we go. That's good. Are you breathing? That's what we're after. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. 10 second rest, so it's 20 on, 10 off. It's a traditional Tabata setup. Here it comes, it's coming quickly. Three, two, one, and go. Single leg deadlifts, 10 seconds each side. There we go, get down there, get up and down. As many reps as you can. It looks good, switch sides, switch legs, other leg. Here we go. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Three, two, one, and rest. 10 seconds. Last exercise of circuit one, standing mountain climbers. 20 seconds, finish it strong, and then we'll take a longer break after that. Three, two, one, and here we go. There we go, 20 seconds. Come on, finish it out, finish it out. Arms and legs both working together. Light on your feet, try to keep your landing soft. Come on, push hard, push hard. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Take a water break. We're going to take about 60 seconds, and then we'll jump into circuit two. Okay, circuit one is complete. We are on to circuit two, the same setup. Three exercises, three times through. We're gonna start off with our three-point plank. So you're down, and then you're hopping forward and to the right as far as you can, and back, and then to the left, and back. So you're just flying through right and left. A modification is just step, 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 and step. So we'll start with that. 40 seconds, are we ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. So your goal here is to pull with your core every time. Pull with those abdominals and then cover as much ground as you possibly can. And you can see Anna stepping forward. Again, keeping the impact off, but she's still working it. Got about 15 seconds left. There we go. Keep pushing. Shoulders might be burning a little bit at this point. But squeeze your core hard. Three, two, one, and relax everybody up. Next, we have our quick feet Heisman. Start with your inside leg up. You're going one, two, three, crunch. One, two, three, crunch. One, two, three, crunch. Trying to go as quickly as possible. We're going in. Three, two, 
One and go. 40 seconds. There we go. Good crunches, good crunches. Cover some distance here. Quick feet. Modification for this one is just keep your feet lower to the ground when you're shuffling. So you're just here, you're just going one, two, three. One, two, three. Just slow it down a little bit. 20 seconds left. There we go. Keep breathing, keep working. 10 seconds. Good, looks good. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest for 20. Last one. It's simple, it's a squat and a kick. Squat, kick right, squat, kick left. From the side, it looks like this. Weight is on my heels, chest is tall. Squat right as high as I can, squat left, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, and here we go. Good, get some height, get some pace here. Keep that chest tall. Again, weight is on your heels. Modify, just don't go down as deep. Go down, if you have knee issues, just shorten your range of motion and slow down your speed a little bit, okay? So there's always a way to work around those physical limitations that we all have. 15 seconds left. There we go. Kick that person in the face in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 20 seconds. We know the exercises now. We're going back to our three-point plank, but this time we're shortening it again to 30 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest. Okay, so they're catching their breath here. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, and here we go, 30 seconds. You think it'd be getting easier at this point, but it's not. They're tired, they're feeling it. Again, if the shoulders, a lot of times when people do these planks, their shoulders will lock up first. So what you need to do then is, number one, you can either take a little, little break, two to three second break, and jump back into it. But if you squeeze your core tighter, that's going to take some of the weight off of your shoulders. Two, one, and time. 15 second rest. We're going into our quick feet Heisman. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and go. There we go. Quick feet, quick feet. There we go. Get that crunch. Pull the knees up with your core. Get a nice little twist at the top. Nice little twist. Good contraction in the stomach here. And then quick feet at the bottom. Good, good, good. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. 15 second rest. Into the squat kicks. If you are able, I want to see some good depth on those squat kicks. Get down low, kick high. Okay? Two, one, and go. That's why we spent so much time stretching out those hamstrings at the beginning of the workout so you can. Get a nice high kick on these. There we go. Eyes stay forward. Keep your hands high in that guarded position, protecting your face on these. Like someone's trying to attack you. Ten seconds left. Good. Kara's going turbo speed in the corner over there. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, 15 second rest. Round three. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. It's a Tabata. Back to our three-point plank. These will go quickly. We're going in. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Pick up your speed now. It's just 20 seconds. No big deal. There we go. Work it, work it. Go crazy on these. Go crazy. Five, four, three, two, one. One, back up, 10 second rest. The rest goes quickly, get a couple deep breaths in. Three, two, one, go. Quick feet, Heisman, there we go. Come on, cover ground, cover ground. There we go, working those fast twitch muscles on the bottom. 
Ten seconds left. There we go, Ivy. Work it, work it. Be the leader of the pack here. Push it. And time. Last one. Squat kicks. Ten second rest. Little breaks if you need them. But try to push through. Two, one, and go. Get down low. Keep that chest tall. Chest tall. So you don't want to be crouching down like this. Stay tall and then kick. Ten seconds left. We're almost there. There we go. Push. Five, four, three, two, one, and good job. Circuit number two is over. Okay, we are back for our final circuit, round three. Once again, three exercises. Heart rates are high at this point, but we're gonna push through. Exercise one is hit the ground. So, option one, get down, tap the ground, squat, switch, switch. If you need to, you can rest your hand on your knee, and if you need to, you can take out the jumping and just go back and forth. Okay, so 40 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. There we go, push it out. Nice, and remember, nice, soft, controlled landings on these. You wanna be quiet and cat-like, but you still wanna be explosive. And Anna's taking out the jump here. Less than 20 seconds left. Good, there we go. 10 seconds. They're going hard, but they're kind of pacing themselves a little bit because round one is 40 seconds. And rest for 20. Round two is mountain climbers. I'm in a high plank. I'm going knee to elbow, knee to elbow. This is high intensity. This is low intensity. Remember, squeeze your core, take breaks as needed. Three, two, one, and go. So on this 40 second one, because it's a long time to sit in that position and the knees are driving forward, so you're gonna feel more on your shoulders. The more that you do these workouts, the easier it's gonna get on your shoulders. But really focus on that core once again. If you just can't take it, drop down your knees for a second. No shame in that, we're all at different levels and then get back up. There we go, girls, we have 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Rest, 20 seconds. Last exercise is burpees. I know you didn't want to hear that, but that's what's coming. Okay, so you're dropping down. Legs jump back, legs shoot forward, jump. Modified, step back, step forward, Stand up. A couple ways to do it. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. Getting some good height. Just think the longer, the higher that you jump, the more rest you have for your shoulders. So that's kind of a bonus. Looks good. Push through it. Getting as many as we can here. Anna's got the modified version, but she's still breathing because the modified version is still hard. It's still work. There we go. Ten seconds left. The long round is almost over. Five, four, three, two, one, and full 20 second rest. 
Round two is coming up. We have hit the ground again. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. This is the last circuit. Let's push through it. Here we go, girls. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Good, good. Good, looking at both walls here, facing both sides of the room. Just try not to get busy on this one. Good, tap that ground. You can even punch that ground if you want. You don't have to punch it, that might hurt, but... I like to pretend that I'm like a superhero falling from the sky and just landing, ready to take over Earth and time. Almost lost track of time. <laughs> All right, 15 second rest. And we're dropping into mountain climbers. Three, two, one, and go. So what we're doing here also is, is we're working the cardiovascular aspect of things. We're doing high intensity intervals, but then we're also throwing core moves into it. So you get that nice combination effect. 10 seconds left. There we go. Squeeze that core, take a break if you need it. But we're almost there. Three, two, one, and time. 15 seconds. The end is near of the workout, not of your life, even though it might feel like it at this point. Four, three, two, one. Let's do those burpees. 30 seconds of burpees. One of the best ways to burn calories is when you can change planes from high to low. And you don't even need a weight for that. You use your body as the weight. It takes a lot of energy just to go from low to high and back and forth. 10 seconds left. There we go. Push hard at home, too. Three, two, one, and time. 15 seconds. Now we're getting into the Tabatas. 20 seconds on. 10 seconds off. Three exercises left until we are done. And then we cool it down. And then we go eat and drink and whatever you're going to do. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hit the ground for 20 seconds. Here we go. There we go. Keep that form good. Take the bend out of the back when you go over. Keep that back straight, eyes forward as much as you can. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest for ten. The rest goes quickly. Three, two, one, and go mountain climbers. It's like the quickest 10 seconds of your life and the longest 20 seconds of your life. But we're almost there. This one's halfway done, 10 seconds left. There we go, keep your cores tight. As always, three, two, one, and rest at 10 seconds. We have one more exercise. Let's go full intensity burpees. Get as many as you can in 20 seconds. Three, two, one, and here we go. Here we go. Get down, get up, get down, get up. Good, good. Stay light on your feet and then explode up. Power through, 10 seconds left. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and nice work. The hard part is over, and we are now getting ready to cool it down. Okay, the workout is over. There is sweat everywhere, deep breaths. It's getting real, just kind of stanky down here, but that's all right, because it's <laughs> worth it. So we're going to cool it down with some jumping jacks. We're not doing high intensity, we're just kind of... Nice and low here, so let's go ahead and jump it out here. Bring that heart rate down. If you've done any form of exercise, you know that you want to cool it down rather than just crashing because everything will tighten up in your body. Blood will be going in places that it's not supposed to be. We're going to switch to a jog now. Keep the knees nice and low. 
and light on your feet. Let me get out of the way so we can see everybody. And gradually start slowing it down a little bit, but keep moving. And then from here, we're going to go into a wide folding hamstring stretch. Wide legs, wide legs like so. Quads are flexed. And then I am just swan diving down. And you can either let your hands hit the ground, or you can fold them and just hang out here. So let's drop it down. And good. Just relax. Keep breathing. You can even rock it back and forth a little bit. A little bit of side to side action. Like you're holding a little baby. And from here, roll it back up slowly. And you're going to stretch out the quads because we worked them. So, you might need a chair or something to grab onto. If you can fixate your eyes on one point of the floor, that'll help you with the balance. So I'm grabbing my right foot. And then what I'm going to do is I don't want my knee flared out here to the side. I want it close to the other knee. And then I also want this glute to go forward to get the full quad stretch. So let's grab the foot, grab the ankle, whatever you can do. Grab the balancing device if you need it. And stretch out the quads. Now when you're doing these stretches, you might know that the, notice that the muscles are a little bit twitchy. And that's normal. Don't be alarmed. And let's switch sides. Other side. And keep breathing. Keep that knee tucked close to the other knee. If your left glute is squeezing forward. And release that. And now we're going to drop down to the ground and feet are going back and then you're dropping your hips down. Now we want your hips close to the ground so if you can't do this with straight arms, bend the arms a little bit so you can get down, but keep your shoulders, keep them down. Okay, so we're right here stretching out the abs. Let's drop down and do that one. Since we did get our cores and breathe through this. Kara, let me have you bend your arms just a little bit so you can get those that pelvis lower to the floor. There we go. Good, deep breaths. We're relaxing now. And from this position, we're gonna go into a downward dog. So, mine's not the prettiest in the world, I'll admit that. But, your arms are locked. Heels are driving towards the ground, and then your chest is driving towards your toes, okay? And we're just holding that position. So let's get into down dog. Driving those heels to the ground, chest towards your toes. And while you're in this position, you can also bend one leg. So let's bend the left leg and drive the right heel further to the ground, work on those calves. And then let's go to the other side. And then let's do one more each side. And keep breathing. Now drop to your knees. And we're just going to fall back into a child's pose. Let your hips sink into the ground. Reach your fingers forward. And just relax and keep breathing. Stay here as long as you like, and you have now completed our cardio circuit. Thanks, everybody.